Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2019. Today we will discuss about these six questions related to the probability and convergence in probability. So let's see quickly see what are those questions. The first question is of the six one marks and it is related to finding the expected value of here. Second question is related to the joint density function and you have to find this constant value C which is again of the one marks. Third question is related to n approaches infinity and you have to find the probability of this random variable. Next one is related to the two marks. You have to find the almost sure convergence that is a strong law of the last number is there. Next one is the probability density function of the sum new variable y when y is given to you x plus 1 whole square it is of the two marks. And this question is again of the two marks. Here we have to find the expected value of these ratios when they have the normally distributed. So these questions are there. Let's see how many marks you have. That's a 2 plus 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you have the 9 marks. Within a few minutes you can learn how you can solve this question within a trick. So since this is a question 1, 1 mark. So you have to provide the 1 minutes for solving this. How you can solve such kind of questions are very easy. So firstly you have to think about that which distribution is there. Do you idea that which distribution is there? Yes, this is nothing but my exponential distribution. So what is the exponential distribution is? If I compare this with respect to here. So therefore what is the lambda is here in this case. This is nothing but my 1 by k. Now you are trying to find the expected value. What is the expected value of the exponential distribution? All of you know that this is 1 by lambda. So in this case, what is the expected value of this variable xk? What is the 1 by lambda from here? That is nothing but my k. Now once you will get here, the right, you will get a very simple answer. So your target is to find the expected value over here. How you can find that? That's a very very simple. What you can do, you can put summation as the outset. This is k times x of k. Since k is my constant, you can again put k is outside expected value of this xk. What is the expected value of the xk is nothing but my k. So this is nothing but my k square where k varies from 1 to 10. How you find that? All of you know that what is the summation of the n square? This is nothing but n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1 upon 6. So what is the n here is? This is my 10. So what is the answer of this is 10. 10 plus 1 11 this is 20 plus 21 by 6 so this is 3 7 3 2 2 5 what is that this is 55 into 7 so the right answer is 385 is the right answer so you can see what is the concept behind that you have to think about this exponential what is the distribution is that find its mean and try to solve its uh, the right answer related to this. Look at the another question is there. This is you have to find this. So now here is a domain is given to you. So you have to draw the firstly graph of this one. X is greater X is 0. So this is the line X 0. X is Y. So this is the portion of X is equal to Y. And Y is 1. So this is the portion for Y is equal to 1. So which one is the common portion? This is that. Now this is a joint density function. So what is that? This is the double integration of this over this dy dx is 1 or you can write also as the double integration of this as a dx dy is 1. That's depending upon you. So if I write here, I have to take the limits of the y. So I can take the strip on the y axis. What is the value of the y here? This is the x. What is the value of the y here is 1. So this is x to 1. What is the minimum and the maximum value of the x here is? This is x value 0. What is the point of here is this is 1 comma 1 so this is 0 to 1. Now you can solve them c is outside integration of the y is here is 1 minus x of dx is 1. So from here you can find the integral uh, find the value of the c in a very simple manner that is 1 minus half so it's 1 minus half is 1. So what is the answer of the c? c is my 2 so that's the right answer of this problem. What is the concept behind is you have to draw this graph uh, so that you can find also you can try to solve this problem. What is the domain of the x? You have to take the horizontal strip. What is the value of the x here is 0? What is the value of the x here is y? And what is the minimum and maximum value of here is 0 to 1? So again c is outside. So this is my y. If 
firstly you have to take x as y then dy so what is the answer of this here so if you try to solve this one so this is c y squared by 2 from 0 to 1 so c by 2 is 1 again your answer is same look at this question is there so it is a normally distribution so as i discussed so many times whenever n approaches infinity you have to think about the center limit theorem so if i consider this as a y y is nothing but my here then my target is to convert this into the center limit theorem how you can convert them you have to find this this value once you are able to find this value your answer will be simply so what is that you have to find the expected value of the y what is that 1 by n is outside summation of expected value of xi what is that they are independent they are identically so what is the mean of the xi is my 4 so it is a it's a 4 times n upon n is nothing but my 4 what is the variance of the y is 1 by n square is common summation of variance of xi what is the variance of the x i is 1 so it is nothing but my 1 n upon n square this is nothing but 1 by n so you can substitute here so what is that this is y is greater than of 4.0006 this is that your target you can convert them into the z you can subtract the 4 expected value is my 4 is here 0 0 0 6 you have to divide it by square root of this that is 1 square root of here is this now take n approaches infinity what will happen here so what will happen if this goes to the here so if you draw the normal graph you all know that what is the answer of this whenever z approaches infinity it's a zero so what is the right answer of this is zero is the right answer look at another one is there so which is almost converges surely so that is you have to find the strong law of the large number okay? So how you can find the strong law of the large number or you can try to for the weak law of the large number. All of us knows that this will converges to the expected values. So that's a very simple. First of all, what is given to you? So they are IID and the Bernoulli distribution. So what is the Bernoulli distribution is here? This is 1, the probability is P and 0, probability is 1 minus P. So that's the simple rule behind the Bernoulli distribution. So what is the mean of the XK? That is nothing but my P because if k is 1 so what is that if k is my 2 that is x square so what is the mean of the how you can find the mean of the x square is this is x square into probability so 1 square into p 0 square into p so answer is again p similarly you can find for the cube what is that how you can find that this is x cube into p again 1 cube into p is p and so on so every time it's a p p p p so this will converge to what is that this is p plus p plus p how many times p n times so n will be cancelled out so this will goes to the values of the here so the right answer of my is p otherwise you can simply see this is the expected this will converge to the expected value of this quantity so what is expected of this quantity is p so right answer is again p look at this question is that's a very simple are there so if i say f of x is my pdf of the x if i consider g of y is my pdf of the y then you can simply use this simple formula this is the rule behind this any distribution function i you can also watch the previous videos of my you can see that now what is given to you y is x plus one whole square firstly find the value of the x from here so i can easily find the value of this here now find that dx upon dy what is that this is one upon two root y substitute here what is the value of the fx this is the uniform distribution so what is the pdf of the uniform distribution 1 upon b minus a minus 1 and 2 so this will be 1 by 2 you can substitute here if it is in the form of the x you can substitute the value of the x here this what is the dx upon dy in the modulus sign this is here so what is the right answer of this 1 by 4 root of y so what is that 1 upon 4 root of y is the right answer how you can find the domain also since x lies between minus 1 to plus 1 you can add you have to find the 1 plus x so you can add the 1 plus x on both side now you can put up the square on both sides so this will be y this is 0 to 4 over here so right answer is my this one look at the last question are there which is again of that two marks how you can find that that's a very simple again it's iid what is given to you mean of the xi is my 0 variance of the xi is my 2 that is given to you so how you can find them you can firstly find the this part of the numerator 
you can try to find this part for the denominator. So what is that e of xi square? I can try to find this from here. What is that? This is e of xi square minus e of xi whole square. This is here. So you have to find this value is my 0. So mean of the xi square is nothing but my 2. So what is the answer of this is 2. Now what is that? This is I can write this as of the x1 square plus up to x, x10 square. So since each of the xi's are my identical, so each have the value 2. So the right answer is 2 plus 2 plus 2. How many times? 10 times is that 20. So what, what is the right answer of this? 2 upon 20. So point 1 is the right answer of this problem. So you can see these are the way you can solve them in a very simple manner. Try to believe that this is a very simple course and try to move it with the shortcut tricks. So these are the uh, these are the 25 more than 25 questions we already covered in this one. Uh, you can find all this video in the in my channel name where it is available at here. I hope you can enjoy this session too. You can share this video with your friend. Best of luck students. Happy learning.